Sky here. So, what's up with this guy? Well, he first appeared in my Gotcha Thumbnails video, and a lot of people seem to take a liking to him and his story. So much so that I kind of just let you all do with it as you pleased. I still don't really have a problem with it. The whole point of this channel is to inspire people. Ever since my video was uploaded, I haven't been able to let this concept go myself. I started developing the character more, and now I can safely say that the story I featured in my thumbnails video is his backstory. This character has a name now too, Shane. In this video, I will be talking about Shane and my process behind developing him more as a character. I'm afraid I won't be able to talk about him in his current state because there are a whole lot of twists and turns to his story. But I'm still more than happy to share what I've got along with some artwork of him. Over the course of developing Shane, I've had a lot of issues. At first I thought he would make a fine addition to a Fang and Rampa. Before you say anything, I made the video a year ago, so my obsessions have changed since. Ultimately, the idea was shelved in favor of removing the Danganronpa aspect entirely. The story I was developing was better off independent from the comedic relief Care Bear franchise, and for a while, I developed him from the perspective of a life-or-death scenario. That forced me to think about his morals, history, and ideology. In the end, the other project was cancelled too, because I felt like the characters that I had come up with had a lot more potential elsewhere. But during the process, I did end up establishing some core values for Shane, as mysterious as he is. So, who is Shane? Well, he's just your average, closed-off, religious guy. He's pretty stoic and rarely beats around the bush. He's also pretty timid around strangers and prefers not to be in the spotlight. People are easily discouraged from talking to him if it's not about religion, as he can look pretty intimidating. Despite that fact, he likes formality and appreciates being greeted with respect and kindness. He has good manners too, which is a must considering how significant his family is. Now on to some likes and dislikes. Shane really likes candles. It's his favorite form of God. The embodiment of light itself. He can get lost during a candlelight for ages. Shane also likes caring for animals and plants. He finds anything living to be endearing. His favorite flower is Samsonia, aka the blue star flower. He also likes roses and lilies. Now on to the things he likes a little less. Shane is very tolerant of people with different cultures and mannerisms. Before you say anything, no, he isn't homophobic. It isn't in his place to judge somebody. It is all up to God, after all, and he believes whatever judgment God makes is the right one. He would be lying, though, if he said that certain things didn't get on his nerves. Shane dislikes the feeling of distrust. Although he's used to people distrusting him, there's something incredibly off about suspicion and doubt being in the air around others. He prefers it when things are peaceful, and not a breeding ground for betrayal and lies. If people were to be as suspicious of one another, he would try his best to clear the air, or get to the root of the problem and solve it. He also dislikes when his candles die. He knows that it's inevitable, and it makes him feel sad inside. In terms of ideology, he's pretty ambiguous. Shane doesn't treat the holy scripture he preaches as law, but rather as lessons and stories to be learned from or observed. He takes the word of God very seriously, but doesn't force his beliefs on people. He would rather be the person people come to for guidance instead. He believes in coexistence, and that for there to be light, there has to be dark, and for there to be life, there has to be death. Shane doesn't fear death in the sense that he's accepted it, and isn't going to run away or deny it. However, he does have some interest in how or why death occurs. His family tends to mourn a little, and then move on when faced with loss. They never quite dwell on death, like most other people do. Shane is one of them. He can let go of and move on from most losses, but sometimes he can show a deeper interest depending on the circumstances. He is enticed by mystery and has a tendency to search for answers to such mysteries. Overall, he's pretty mysterious, but just like any person, he has a soft side. These are all things I've come up with since my last video all that time ago. This is just my own take on the concept I presented, and I'm pretty proud of how he turned out. His character is becoming more and more independent, and I'm hoping that he'll have his uses in the future, since I feel like he has a lot of potential. For now, he's stuck in my OC purgatory, and he'll have to stay that way for now. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing what kind of stories you could come up with using his old concept story as a basis. 
I do hope that you all find your own ways to develop and make your own characters stand out too. It really helped imagining him in a tense scenario, and I'd recommend imagining your characters in both extreme and everyday scenarios to help get to know and understand them better. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be good to yourself, and I'll see you next time I upload. Bye-bye!